everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for the triple soap, triple cream challenge thing that's going around. I'm pretty sure someone's tagged me along the way. I just haven't really got around to watching many videos to actually see who has. I'm pretty sure Spencer may have. And Ken Service was talking to me about it as well, sent me a couple of messages, so I thought I'd just do one anyway. And I freak, I don't know, I'll tag Kyle over at Brown Man Shaves. Or if he watches this, he might not watch it. I know he's a busy, busy man. As, as we all are at the moment. But I'm going to be using three creams. I'm not going to use a bowl. I'm just going to use three creams. I'm going to be using Omega, which is one of the first creams that I purchased. Palm olive, which is pretty shit. But I'm going to use it anyway. And a squirt of Royal Tahitian Lime from El Bado, which is one of the best creams in the market, in my opinion. Now I'm going to be using my Grey Dog Horsehair brush, which is in here. But before I do that, I'm just going to get sorted first. I'm just going to wet the face. This is going to be a straight razor and calf shave. I'm just going to do with the grain, with the straight, finish off with the calf because it's going to be reasonably quick today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a blob of the Omega on my hand. Not a lot of it because obviously three creams, you don't want a shit ton of it. I'm chucking the lid away. And again. So this is just a sort of Just a bog standard sort of barbershop scent, mentholated. It's a very slick cream. It was pretty much my go to head shaving software product in the beginning. It's still an excellent product. I haven't used it for a while. I may actually just break it out on its own soon. The palm olive comes in a tube like this. This one is made, I think, in Italy. It is made in Italy from importing the local ingredients. I don't know how good the Italian one is based on the other countries and stuff like that. But same again, we're just going to take a little scoop of that. Looks like that. Set on palm olive. Palm, palm olive is pretty soapy, fresh soap scent, but it's quite enjoyable. So I'll put that on the left side of the face. So I've got palm olive on this side and we've got Omega on the right. And then I'm going to take most of the excess water out of the brush, put one squirt of Elvado into the brush and then start lathering. That's pretty much how it's going to go. So here we go. Now this is terrible. I can't remember the woods that this brush is made out of. I know the top bit I think is a it's a, a form of pink wood I think it was. I can't really remember. That's terrible. Memory's just not that great. But it's an absolutely stunning handle. It really is. It's beautiful. Very ergonomic. Nice and fat on the bottom. Thin on the top. 24 mil horsehair, br horsehair, br horsehair brush. It loses about 3,000 hairs per shave. I'm surprised it's actually any less. So one squirt in here of the Elvado cream, which is the Royal Tisha line, which smells incredible. It really does. And here we go. I'm just going to stuck straight in. Now this will need a lot of water. Backbone with a horsehair brush is almost non-existent. So got it like that, the old Michael Friedberg technique. Something I've never done before. It's quite an interesting concept. I know Flash Bodum has made tubs of Frankenstein soap. And it's had great results from it. All right, I'm back. As you can see, the lather is almost done. I've been on the phone with the wife for about 15 minutes. I've just left it on there. The brush has still got the same lather. I'm just going to start painting a little bit on, split a bit, and I'll just add some more water. Let's just see if we can get this activated again. This shouldn't be an issue. All the product's still there. It just needs a bit of water into it. The scent, surprisingly, is quite nice. And the fact that it's been on my face for 15 minutes, I've had no reaction to it. Possibly maybe dry my skin out just a touch. But we'll finish off with a nice post shave balm. And 
there's another hair. I've just pulled two hairs off my face as well off camera. I mean it's a lovely brush. The horse hair is really nice. This one just loses far too many hairs. I don't think it will last too much longer. Yes? Can I open the door? What's up? So what day does that dance video need to be in? I don't know whether I told you. I don't know, let me have a look. Mm -hmm. One of the emails. Mm -hmm. Right. Ankles, three door. <coughs> Seven eighths, I believe. Straight razor, nice bright orange scales, almost fluorescent orange, and just a lovely looking little razor. It's not quite as nice as in terms of actual build and stuff like that as my custom. It doesn't shave as nice either, but it does a good job. So I'm just going to wet the blade, pull up the old skin here, stretch the skin a little bit, and away we go. It's certainly smooth enough to shave with, there's no issues with it that way. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my skin here, which will lift this up. and just follow it around my jaw just ever so slightly and then what happens is, so I've still got that pulled up, when I let go it pops down under here and then when I lift my neck up I've got nice easy access to it Now one thing I don't like about this razor in particular is if I don't have this, I can't get this finger on the tang's short that's pretty generic for most straight razors and I just find it just a little bit, just for me at least, just a little bit uh, fatiguing. That's the word I'm looking for on my fingers. Beautiful. Right, let's switch hands. And same again on this side. Oh, a little lather on my finger. Soap actually, the cream feels quite nice actually, surprisingly. Beautiful. Really getting that stretch on. I've got a few little tips and pointers from Kai. Kai Triska. Just with regards to stretching my neck, I've obviously got a few little weepers down there, but that's to be expected.
Beautiful. So I'm just going to stop there with the straight now. That is literally all I'm going to do. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe off with the towel just to get all that sort of residue off there. Fold it up and just set it to the side. Go into the sink because it's full of crap. Residual slickness is off the charts. It is good stuff. It really residually slick, which is excellent. So let's we'll sink back up. And while it's filling, I can start applying this lather again. Which, as you can see, is loads of it. Beautiful cooling sensation from the Omega. So that menthol is really coming through. the grain with the carved Christopher Bradley razor, sea plate, closed comb and the Australian spoiler of the Australian Gillette Super Stainless which is hanging behind me on the door. This razor is incredible. Wet the face. Yeah, the slickness is brilliant. It's not a dense, dense lather. If I just make a lather with just Amiga or just Elvado, it's really dense, heavy. The palm olive is pretty average, so it's really making the palm olive shine. Whatever properties I'm getting for the palm olive, that is. the same areas over and over. Not that you really want to do that, but you can do it. The residual slickness is so good, I'm having to really wet my skin to get it off. But I can definitely feel that my skin's a little bit dry. And I'm not putting that down to the, 
the shave itself, I'm putting it down probably more so to the fact that I left that shaving soap on my skin for 15 minutes rather than rinsing it off and starting again. But as you can see, you can get away with leaving stuff on your face, doing other things and coming back and finishing off. I'm obviously talking about shaving it. This normally takes about another 25 years out. Now again, we could be lucky today. It's got to stop shedding eventually, surely. It can't just keep shedding all the time, forever. So, yeah, just, uh, I can literally, just by doing that, when, even when it's soft and been used, find a hair that, can be, that just falls out, but it's a little bit better this time, which is good. Looks a little bit nicer when it's bloomed out. And I'll finish off today with some Some Anherb aftershave conditioner. This stuff's incredible. Very medicinal scent. It smells very much. Like a sort of medical antibiotic ointment. It doesn't have menthol in it from the ingredients list. But I do believe, I think it's camphor that's in here. Which is a derivative of menthol, I think. Which gives a lovely cooling sensation. It's almost like an anaesthetic sort of sensation. You get from it, it sort of takes the, the burn out of your skin. It's very, very nice. It's an amazing post shave. Just that scent it reminds me a little bit of sort of like germaline, uh, that sort of medicated scent. But it works. Lovely. What shave. So, today we used Elbaro, Royal Tahitian Lime, Palm Olive, just bladder shave, shit, regular and some Omega. So it was a triple cream shave, no bowl, half and half on the face and a squirt inside the brush and away it went. Great lather, great slickness, pretty good protection, great shave. Really happy with it, I really am. Straight razor today it was, oh sorry I've got the brush. The brush was my grey dog, 24mm horsehair brush. Very very soft, like incredibly soft, it's got no density to it. I mean I, you can see how small that amount of hairs is when, when you actually squish it in your fingers. But it's a lovely painter, really nice face lather. It works best with creams. It's not great with soap because you can't really load it up much. So definitely one that you should be using with creams, but it works beautifully. Touch wood, I haven't had any tangling issues, anything like, even though I'm swirling all over and doing lots of stuff with it. I don't get any knots in it. I haven't had to brush it out yet. It's pretty good. And the handle itself is absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice from Grey Dog. You can see the different colors and the pinks up here. Just beautiful. Nice big indentation on the bottom. Very comfortable to hold, works beautifully. I may get it re knotted eventually if that brush or that knot fails, but so far it still works very well. Enkels Friado 78s number 72, just a stunning razor. It really is. One thing I like about it is it does tend to hold up here. This, this The pin here holds the blade well. You can just see on there. And it's 72 just on there. But just a lovely razor. You know, it's it's not as nice, the edge on it, as my Drew Dick, but as you saw there, it's very comfortable. It slides over, it glides through the hair, it's got lovely feedback. Very different feedback. I find this is a little bit more zingy, a little bit more of a, a, a wang to it. You know, it's got a good, good noise that comes out of it, it sings. And finished off with a carved Christopher Bradley razor with an Australian Super Stainless, which is hanging up there, vintage blade, which you can't really get your hands on these days anymore. And Anherb to finish off after shave conditioner. Crack and shave. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.